Good morning, DBS. It's Jaka coming to you again for another beautiful morning sponsored with energy from us here at DBS. You know, we love being a part of your everyday and we will continue to do so for the foreseeable future. So don't worry. Every day that you wake up Monday to Friday, we are going to be here. Right now, I'm getting ready to start off your day. And of course, we're doing that the right way by making sure you wake up with the morning news highlights. Let's check out the latest from our news team. Good morning. Time now for a summary of your top stories. Three homicides over the weekend have Commissioner of Police Milton Daisy admitting that the situation may be beyond the ability of local police to handle. The top cop is not ruling out getting assistance from outside sources to bring the situation under control, even as police continue investigations into the latest incidents. I believe that just the results um, over the weekend indicate that um, persons are still bent on committing, committing crime, which is not good for, for the country. Actually, um, families are suffering loved ones are uh, suffering as a result of the behaviors of some selfish individuals. I am um, <clears throat> pleased to indicate that we, at that point, I think we need some help, whichever way, whether it is um, in the region or internationally, to solve these issues. I know a lot of the um, homicides cannot be prevented, but however, I think the police action should <laughs> be to solve those um, homicides. Persons identify the individuals and bring them into justice. The RSS is assisting us um, in some of the some of the cases. So, um, and I'm saying that help, whichever place that we could get the help, it is good. It is good for us. Actually, it um, it would assist us in probably identifying suspects and and so on. You will recall that Prime Minister Philip Pierre recently sought assistance from the Regional Security System, or RSS, which dispatched uh, troops to the island to aid local law enforcement. The government is working assiduously to deliver on a stationary jetty for the fishers in Miku. So says Parliamentary Representative for Miku North, Jeremiah Norbert. The absence of a proper docking station has been a huge inconvenience for fishers. A floating jetty, which was uh, commissioned by the former administration and installed at the start of the year, fell apart within months. I think on Friday, Prime Minister would have made an announcement at the Savans Bay, opening of Savans Bay, that um, I should be very excited about in terms of the Miku jetty. We're making some serious headway as it relates to design and costing, and as soon as that is done, um, I feel assured and, and, and that the Prime Minister will do everything within his power to find the funding for sale to give the fishermen of Miku a proper jetty, one that they deserve, one that they've been waiting for a very long time. So I'm very excited about the developments as it relates to the jetty in Miku. I think that in itself will provide um, a better solution to the entire thing because what we have is an issue of access. Fishermen have access to their boats uh, and if we're able to deal with this with a jetty, I mean fishermen would be able to go, would be able to ply their trade and go up and down because that is the, the problem plaguing them now. Sargassum seaweed also continues to be the biggest issue affecting the fishers and the entire Miku North constituency. Long-term solutions to the problem are being explored. Labri MP Alpha Baptiste, meanwhile, continues to side with residents against the establishment of another quarry in the constituency. A meeting has been scheduled with developers to discuss the issue. The community will be having another meeting at the Labri market. Um, to ventilate this issue further, but no doubt they are not supportive of the idea, you understand? So let me not preempt what is going to emerge out of Wednesday's meeting, but certainly I will be present if God spare life um, to be part of the conversation at the library market steps. Baptiste continues to encourage consultation with residents and to give local people a voice and an opportunity to influence important decisions that are likely to impact them. Tourism Minister Dr. Ernest Tillet has indicated that government, for the time being, intends to nurture the development of Julian Alfred, uh, the athletics, uh, rather her athletics career. Uh, Dr. Hiller made the comment while responding to a question about whether the government intends to use Julian Alfred's outstanding performance at the recent Commonwealth Games as part of the island's international marketing efforts. The 21-year-old athlete, he pointed out, was still in the early stages of her career. 
I believe personally that she will grow to global, you know, dominance. Um, of course, you always have the Jamaicans and the Americans to contend with, but from all indications, she'll be a major player on the international stage. And like Darren Sami was a fantastic ambassador for St. Lucia, we're hoping that she too will be a fantastic ambassador. She's still a very young athlete uh, and she still has a lot um, um, to, 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 to develop and, and certainly have an even brighter future than she's having now. The task for us now is to manage her, to lend her support and to ensure that she's nurtured to become a world champion, Olympic champion. Um, the time will come when she will be um, used appropriately for promoting St. Lucia and for being part of our international efforts to, to bring greater attention to St. Lucia. Um, I think, you know, that that will come and there will be a time when you know this will be in order um, for now we just need to ensure that she follows the right trajectory to become a world champion alfred cruised her way to a silver medal during the female 100 meters finals at the commonwealth games she clocked a time of 11.01 seconds behind jamaica's five-time olympic gold medalist elaine thompson harris uh elaine thompson harris uh, 10.95 seconds those are your top stories thanks for watching and that's our wrap for our morning news highlights. Thank you so much to our dedicated news team for keeping us so well informed about what is happening on our special piece of the planet. Right now, we are heading to a quick commercial break. So it's about time that you make sure that everyone in the house is awake and ready to take in today's show. I'll see you again in a second. back DBS. Now this morning I think we have a program that will bring a lot of energy and a lot of light to all the young women across St. Lucia who look up to the Miss Universe St. Lucia pageant. I mean after a couple of years the pandemic had us down for a bit but everything is back. Joycey is back and looking amazing may I say. Thank you Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> and try, try you do. So how does it feel after so long getting back into the field and working with the girls again? I feel good. It's been a long process, as you know, and um, when we put out the call for registration for the selection process, we didn't know what to expect. And of course, we had a nice mix of young ladies coming through. And for this year as a comeback, I'm very, very, very impressed, proud and happy for the ladies who have emerged as the top five finalists. Um, they're all very different um, and they, they're very passionate about their beliefs and I think they would make wonderful re you know, representation for St. Lucia on the global stage. We got to briefly meet each of the contestants during the launch and I noticed that they had very interesting platforms. I heard bullying, I heard um, marginalized women, I heard a lot of powerful messages coming from the young women and I mean especially so early in their pageant journey. Actually for anybody who might not be familiar with the timeline, about when did the audition start and how long have the ladies been working towards the pageant? Okay. On our website we encourage young ladies who are interested, whether it's this year, next year, to begin to register. We do have interviews with them and so the process started for us as late as November last year. Um, and if, um, like I said, we go through a, um, you know, assessment process with them and then we narrow it down to the top five, well, the top ten, then the top five. And a lot of that is done behind the scenes. Um, like most of the international pageants, what we see on the night of crowning, there's just so much work that goes behind the scenes. So we do a bit of that as well um, in, you know, in getting them prepared and ready. So it's like a, year's, a, a year, a year of, um, you know, working at it. All right, so it's not just a staff and you head on to the stage. There's a lot of hard work going in ahead of time. I noticed with the mix of young ladies, we saw a, different, a lot of different body types, a lot of different heights, and that really just breaks the stereotypes that people think when they look at pageantry. So it's obviously not about physical appearance. What do we really look for when we're scoping out our next Miss St. Lucia universe? Okay. Um, 
Of course, pageantry has evolved. Miss Universe platform has evolved. Um, if you think back, of we've even had a trans walk the, the, the stage. So what we look for is somebody who's amenable, accessible, um, someone, you know, like this everyday girl that you can, um, she can work, she's a good team player, she can work with any and everybody, she's open to learning. And of course, she must feel strongly about her beliefs and we help develop, you know, those um, character traits and stuff that is positive that can help her amplify her voice um, to, to making a difference on the, not just the global stage, but within her island and to be part of the um, marketing, um, um, the marketing team for St. Lucia. And of course, with marketing St. Lucia, we noticed that the St. Lucia Tourism Authority is actually on board. So what other agencies in St. Lucia should we see um, coming on board and helping along the process for Miss Universe? Well, we have Creative Industries is also on board and we're hoping to continue dialogue with um, different um, agencies um, within the government and outside. Um, we do well have a club, we do have a few sponsors who have remained on board with us as staples and they support the, the, um, what we do and the work that we, we look to do with young women. It's an empowerment platform and there's always room for others to join us as well. Um, let me just say one of the things that we've also done is we've established what we dub the beauty bar project and the reason it's dub beauty bar is because when you think of hygiene poverty um, most people may not want to own up to it but it does exist and so we had been doing care packages um, you know and distributing them to you know young ladies and different families but now we've decided to actually brand it the beauty bar project and think of it there's beauty in a bar of soap yeah. and you know just having a nice shower and soaping yourself down and you feel clean that's beauty in there so we are part of the beauty industry and we want to continue to promote you know that 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 um platform too. All right, that's absolutely wonderful and I mean it really does speak to the fact that pageantry is not just about the glitz and glamour like our standing Miss Universe St. Lucia did mention during her speech it's not about glitz and glamour there's hard work and there's a lot that needs to happen on the inside as well. <music>
What's up, guys? This is Buils from Buils with Lifestyle, you know, and we are back. Carnival is done. Y'all belly big, even if you're a player with jumping, but y'all drink y'all rum, y'all eat y'all pork, y'all get like it was Christmas. But now it's time to put in the work. So here we have our nice episodes. Quick, easy access to regaining the body structure that we want. So come with me. Let's get it popping. Good morning. So yes, guys, we can start by... And I know a lot of you guys must have bikes at home. So we're giving a good 30 seconds. 